Calgary City Council will decide next week if they will continue to consider an Olympic bid. And groups for and against it are lobbying hard today. Top Canadian athletes are gathered at Canada Olympic Park to encourage the city to bid for the 2026 Winter Games. Past and future Olympians in every type of Olympic sport made impassioned pleas to the city to carry on with pursuing the Games. They say they're aware of the costs of the Games and they want to see a responsible plan, but after all the effort so far, question why the city would stop now. The athletes talked about how Calgary's 1988 Games inspired them and left them with facilities that are still used today. The message for Council today is basically don't pull the plug on exploring a possible bid, at least not yet. They say the city still doesn't have enough information to make a decision either way, and the work should continue. The big picture is more than just the money, and it's more than just 16 days of sporting competitions. It's everything that's left behind, and 30 years later, you can see what's left behind. Um, all of us benefit from the, the incredible legacy. The city has spent about $6 million looking into a bid so far, and now has support from the federal and provincial governments to establish a $30 million bid company. But some councillors are questioning whether it's worth it and will vote next week. While many athletes are pro-Olympic bid, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation says hosting the Games would be a complete waste of money. The bid itself will be at least $30 million, two-thirds of which have been committed by the feds and the province. Alberta's contribution, however, is contingent on conducting a plebiscite to gauge public interest, and that would cost another $2 million. A recent poll from Omnibus suggests 60% of Albertans are interested in a bid for 2026, Calgarians a bit lower at 55% support. Still, one money watchdog says it will take decades to pay off these games, expected to cost around $4.5 billion. Legacy facilities are in place from the 88 Olympics, but there's concerns we'll need much more than that. This would come with a huge price tag. It would mean property tax hikes. It would mean the provincial debt's going to go up even higher. The federal debt's going to go up even higher. We just can't afford the Olympics. The problem is that we can't equate the games with the bid with the economy and just to get a little bit too excited about the games themselves without considering is this the right time. It's a gamble even if we put a bid forward that we're going to get the games and so if we desperately need the games in order to survive as a city I would say we have to come up with other solutions. First order of business in council Monday is a yes or no vote on an Olympic bid and it could all end there. Previous vote tallies at City Hall suggest there, would be, there could be an eight-vote majority for killing the bid.